What is going on guys? This is Daniel of Hoops Nation and TheLotteryMafia.com and today we'll take a look at how Trevor Ariza of all people scored 40 points on the 76ers. Now MCW seems to try to perform ice to force Wall to the sideline but Henry Sims is way out of position that forces rotation and Hollis Thompson has no chance. Now in transition there seems to be miscommunication as both Hollis Thompson and James Anderson goes to the man in the corner and that leaves Ariza wide open. These are practice shots people. Now the Sixers get back in transition, Hollis Thompson is clearly guarding Ariza, but needlessly helps one pass away and that gives up another wide open look. On this pick and roll, MCW should force sideline and perform ice, but instead Wall gets to the middle of the floor where everything is one pass away and Hollis Thompson is caught ball watching and Ariza hits his fourth three. Let's applaud the Wizards offense for getting Ariza these looks. Wall, a great penetrator, drives and kicks, and a great screen by Booker instinctively to get Ariza open when Hollis Thompson helps. I mean, when you have guys like Wall who can drive at ease and kick out also, and guys like Booker who instinctively set those screens, and Ariza who's hit five threes now, it just makes everything easier and it's really impossible to stop. Here in transition, Ariza gets a leak out and finishes nicely at the basket. Now, this is actually comical as right here, you got Byron Mullins guarding Trevor Ariza at the top, Elliot Williams guarding Marcin Gortat, Thaddeus Young under the basket guarding the guy in the corner, and MCW guarding the guy in the high post. Now just two seconds later, you tell me who they're guarding. Byron Mullins looks like he's covering the high post, MCW is covering the guy in the corner, and Thaddeus Young's covering Marks and Gortat, and Elliot Williams, it doesn't look like he's covering anybody, and the one person they leave open, that's right, Trevor Ariza, and he hits a 6-3 pointer. And I guess you can credit this for Byron Mullins being new, as he passes it to MCW instead of executing a simple dribble handoff, as MCW expected, and Ariza steals it and takes it in for a dunk. And as Trevor Ariza is just trying to get off a shot at the end of the quarter, I may never know why Elliot Williams sticks out his arms and draws the foul. He was in perfect position to take a charge, but he stuck out his arms and it cost his team three points. Here, MCW does a good job preventing the dribble handoff, but Hollis Thompson commits its cardinal sin and leaves his feet before the shooter does. And this wasn't bad defense and a good closeout by Thompson, but you gotta stick to Ariza like glue as he's hit seven threes. Now you'll see Tony Roden just can't keep up with Ariza and plays pretty bad defense as he completely overruns him. But even worse in my opinion is Eric Maynard in the opposite corner not being in position at all and he just runs by Ariza as he's in no position to take a charge as he should be. Now let's just take a look at Eric Maynard. As the shot goes up, he provides no effort at all to try to block out Ariza and that gives Ariza a second chance layup. And lastly, first Ariza gets a shot block in transition, but watch a wall just out hustle three Sixer defenders. He got on the floor, no Sixer defender did, and that's how Ariza scored 40 points. Poor defense, poor individual defense, poor team defense, poor effort, and just good shooting by Ariza. I mean, let's give Ariza a lot of credit. You don't hit eight threes without being a really terrific shooter. But, I mean, the Sixers defense, I guess this, this is what happens when you have a tanking team versus a playoff team. Just like we saw Drogic score 40 points two nights ago, a lot of credit needs to go to Ariza and his hard work. He was not a shooter at all coming out of UCLA, a second round draft pick, but he put in work and he's had a very good NBA career, won a championship as a starter in 2009 with the Lakers. And But keep in mind, this is his contract year. Ever since he's left the Lakers, he's been so-so. This is his contract year, so any team in free agency, they should just keep that in mind before you sign him to a long-term deal. Well, that's all for now guys check back for more videos and subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment i'll most likely respond